the sequel to the video that nearly broke YouTube, The Return of Mighty Max. Yeah, no, uh, no, no one watched that video, but uh, <laughs> I don't care. I love Mighty Max. This is another Mighty Max toy. Hey, so, like I was saying, <laughs> this is another Mighty Max toy. So, uh, if you didn't watch my other video, which I'm sure no one did. <laughs> so I got like two views and I think I watched it once. So, um, this is a Mighty Max toy. So, Mighty Max was a toy line from the 90s, from the early 90s. It was basically Polly Pocket for boys. Included a little uh, figure of Mighty Max. And it was basically a play set. Uh, the toy I reviewed earlier was literally just a Polly Pocket. You opened it up, play set. Uh, they got into making a couple of action figures. This is the biggest one that they made. This is Mighty Max, Mighty Max Blasts Magus. And uh, I actually had this one as a kid. So I was super excited to pick him up when I did. Oops. Jeez, that's going to go on forever. My son was playing with this, and it's all messed up now. <laughs> Recovered it. No worries, no worries. Got it, got it, guys. Chill. It's fine. <laughs> all right, so, uh, as you saw there, the whole thing opens up, and, uh, it's a playset in and of itself. So I got this from a toy shop in California. Uh, pretty excited to get it. If I felt those memories. It does have one little issue. I actually got it for a cheaper price because of that. But it's it doesn't ruin the toy. It actually is still complete. So well, let's go ahead and uh, just start opening him up. Let's get his arms out of the way. It opened up just to get those out of the way in this pesky rocket. It's a pretty cool rocket. And... And it does just breathe on this wrong and it'll pew, jump out. So it's got some force. Pretty cool. And now there's not really much incorporation with the other uh, figures with this. Doesn't have any spot for the figures. Uh, but you can still have it be like an emplacement or something. A lot of cool detail in there. So. Open up this one, more sweet detail. And that's, that's a big part of the Mighty Max toys is all the detail in the cavities and spaces. And then you get this little monster thing. It's got a claw for a butt and uh, it's got a spot for Mighty Max to ride. So, but uh, speaking of Mighty Max, let's get this guy open so we can take a look. Now, this comes down there's a little spot for max to stand right there if you look behind uh, there's some stuff uh, some mechanical detail just paint there so so that's pretty cool and uh, it does hook the back the neck hooks into the back so it doesn't come open on you so that'll allow you to open up the back, and that'll also allow you to open up the front. And as you saw earlier, the legs open. And there's a motorcycle guy. And there's Norman. So this part also technically comes up. Now, as far as Max, the, now there's this whole section right here uh, that's a little cage that up and max is just hiding in there so the max we get this time standard max backpack fists looking tough no no scuff marks on this guy so pretty pretty clean max so oops now this is the issue uh that uh causes got to be cheap now this part it's supposed to be like a, a c-clip and it's it's not but it there is still enough friction to hold this gun emplacement there uh, but it, it doesn't work the way it's supposed to so now this whole thing does come off and you can attach it up here but um, yes yeah, it's broken I can do it but uh, those, those missiles launch too so 
pretty cool. And I uh, just saw me take out uh, Lava Lord. This is one I still have to this day. I still have my original one. This is the one that came with the set. But uh, uh, special to me is this little guy. I don't know how he survived my childhood. But um, yeah, I still have this guy somewhere. And he comes with a little sled. Now, he rides in it. He kind of frictions into it backwards. And I always thought that looked weird that he rode it backwards. But you can have him do that, or you can just you know, turn him around. And he won't really friction in, but you can pretend. So, whatever. And on this side, we've got Norman. Now, this was a TV show, too, so, like, all the figures... Um, you know, had most of them anyways had dedicated episodes and stuff like that. This guy featured prominently on the show. He's basically the muscle metal arm, uh, you know, chain. He's like a Viking guy, giant sword. I always wish they had him with a sword in his hand because he always had a sword in his hand. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty good. Get this together. And also back here, once you lift this up. You get access to Virgil, who's a little owl sage. He's the Yoda, uses Yoda of the group that uh, is also a bird. <laughs> and uh, built into the wall is this guy. So, like, a lava beast. Yeah, that guy looks so awesome. And let's see here. Earlier you did see this guy. The motorcycle guy. I loved the motorcycle guy. Because it's like he's on, he's on a tread and he looks like he's going so fast. So he doesn't even look like a man as much as just lava riding on a motorcycle. So, yeah. And uh, on the inside there you got some more detail, more gold. And a uh, sticker, of course. Got him a stick for the console. Got a little lizard there. That's cool. That's a spot for Max. Yeah. And down here you do have some stairs into this little dungeon thing. And more stickers. So. It's pretty cool. And this does go up. I don't know why. Just to make more access, I guess. For going through. Uh, but... Yeah, and that's everything you get in the Mighty Max set. So, you know, you open it up and you've got a whole world uh, to play with. So that's one of the appeals that, um, you know, led me to Mighty Max when I was a kid. You know, you put them there. Put them up there, you know. I always had them riding in here. So, just uh, really cool. Really cool set, really cool idea. And of course, this has been done a million times since then. Um, I think Batman, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles still doing it. I've seen Ben 10s out there uh, that are doing it. Of course, of course, probably Pocket is actually back now. Uh, yeah, and even Lego is doing like a little compact for friends that's like Polly Pocket, but it's Lego. So, you know, it... Even though this is kind of a forgotten toy line that uh, not a lot of people uh, appreciate still, uh, it did influence this, and it was influenced from, you know, Micro Machines and all these little things, but it did influence a lot of things, a lot of copycats, and unfortunately those copycats kind of uh, outlasted Max himself. So, you know, obviously it's just based on Polly Pocket, but that trend got so big. So... Yeah, uh, <laughs> if anyone out there actually watches this video, let me know what you think. Um, comment below what you think about Mighty Max, if you remember the series, uh, the cartoon, or, or the toy line. I'm going to keep on. I'm not going to flood the channel with Mighty Max reviews, I promise, but uh, I'm going to continue doing some Mighty Max stuff in the future. So if you like it, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, you know, hit like, and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a comment.